turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. exciting here, D.C., the founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. Ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, well, you can feel the energy and the buzz as we return to what has really become a destination on this UFC calendar here in Abu Dhabi at the still fairly new Eddie Hot Arena. A lot of athletes getting the chance to compete here tonight and lapping it all up in this. Big elbow there, Lance. And there's that jab. Oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, nice. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Lee. Beautiful combination with the hands there. Good kick. The right hand just misses. Ooh. Nice one, two there. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets punished by the uppercut there. That one's going to leave him up. Another big shot to the head. Missed with that right hand. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. There it is. Take a shot now. Take a shot. There it is. 
Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, uppercut. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. Oh, this is a nice pain to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Lee getting tattooed by that stiff jab. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Right now, a little separation between the two. Oh, offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over, PC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. How about those five minutes? All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead. The blood is trickling down. So we'll see if that becomes an issue or more of a factor here later in this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready? You ready? Good. Second round here. Oh, nice kick. Nice oh, side kick. Well done. Beautiful job getting those hands up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Leg kick now. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Effective with the jab. That one landed, yep. Just misses with the left hook. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Well placed. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking tonight. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab. strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Defense. 
unable to land with that punch. Oh, the high kick lands. Well, you know this is the hurt business. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Just over two minutes to go in round two. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, right into Mount. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop his fight. All right, so that calf's starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Taking too many leg kicks. Got to check him. Chin down, hands up. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. He's got the hand speed. Right. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. The cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Ten minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. The next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. That's a miss. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. And he connects there. All right, now touches him with that left hand. Just missed with the left there. Both fighters throwing heat now. He's able to land the strike right there and continuing to make things difficult for the opposition. The nose is already damaged, and that strike ain't gonna help matters. 
There's the kick, it's blocked. Just out of range with that right hand. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponents will likely continue to attack. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Now he lands a solid punch. Back and forth we go. That kick lands. While he is at his kickboxing best tonight, another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally it's the hands. Tonight he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, man, hit to lands. Just over two minutes now to go. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up. The oh, 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 head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt back. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Straight right is there. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Blocks that kick to the body. This is another one of those ones where you might think about stopping it. Oh, yeah. We got it. That kick grabs his opponent, left him a little bit, trying to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Seconds left. Lee's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Went for the inside leg kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. I want you to make that cut worse now. Quick jab. Just out of range with that. Other oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh, 
right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. Well, he's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Nice jab. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. These ground strikes are just brutal. We might get a stoppage here soon. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Oh, man. That cut is just bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a stoppage here. So oh, the amount of blood, the amount of blood that is leaking from this guy. It's amazing that he's still standing. He has been beat up thoroughly. Tonight is not going to be his night. Oh. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Wow, this is getting... <laughs> Two minutes here to go, round four. Able to rip the body there. Well, that calf is a new shade of purple right now. I'm not sure he's going to be able to stand up much longer. I mean, it's swollen, it's bruised, it's all beat up. He takes one or two more, this fight's going to be stopped. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. Oh, Lord, that hurts. It's a it's a kick. Johnny hurt bad. He hurt really, really bad now. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Not sure if the nose is broken or just busted up, but blood is splattered everywhere. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's the end of the fight. So that's a disappointing the right call. conclusion, but the right call. The right call, John. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declared the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not,